it's great success. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says great success. And then it says have confidence. So Spirit wants y'all to have confidence in something that you're trying to achieve. Whether this is a relationship, whether this is business, whether this is work, it, it could be a career, it could be anything. So that's a spiritual message for somebody. All right, let's do love. What do we have for my Leo's for love? What's happening in Leo's love life? I'm going to take it. It says intimacy. I'm going to take it. It says intimacy. Mutual respect and unity and closeness. So some of you guys could be getting closer to somebody. Maybe there is um mutual love between you and this other person. We got sipping. Some of you guys could be either in a relationship with somebody right now or dating somebody right now. Whether you could sit, whether you consider this person as a friend and in a lover. Um but whoever this is that you are very like close to that you could be dating right now, you guys could be talking about, you know, maybe even moving in together or the next stage in y'all connection. But I'm getting a deep bond between you and another person. And it has something to do with some form of communication. Some of you guys have somebody that's close to you that could be being nosy about your love life. Maybe this could be an ex that may have popped back up in your life, Leo. Maybe they could be, you know, questioning you about who you're talking to, who you're dating. Somebody is being nosy. Wow, this could be a narcissist. Yep, some of you guys have a, a ex of yours that could be reuniting with you and they could be questioning you about your dating life and I feel like this person wants to get back together with you and it don't have to be a narcissist maybe they just have narcissistic tendencies or it could be but whoever this is Leo this is somebody that wants the opportunity with you they want to start over with you I feel like you had a lot of bad experiences with this person, but at the same time, maybe y'all still friends. Some of you guys still could be friends. Like, there is, like, I know that you can, some of you guys, you could be friends still with your ex, or y'all have that mutual amount of respect and love for one another, even though y'all not together. I'm getting that energy also. Okay, let's, let's clarify, because some of y'all got... Some of y'all are dating somebody else, right? Or you are in a relationship with somebody, but you have an ex popping up questioning you about your relationship that you are currently in because they want to get back together with you. I feel like that's what it is. Somebody being nosy, child. Somebody is being nosy. They're trying to creep their way back into your life. That's what I'm saying. Somebody. We got love call. Some of you guys, this person could be calling you. Maybe they could be expressing to you how they really feel. Now, if this is a new connection, because I could see it two ways. I feel like some of y'all are dating somebody new, and there's an ex popping up questioning, you know, your love life because they want to get back together with you. But at the same time, I feel like y'all are um, talking to somebody, like far as getting closer to somebody that you are currently dating right now. But somebody could be expressing their love to you, Leo, whether this is the ex or current partner. We got abundance right here. Somebody could be calling you about some money. We got the chaser. Look, I knew it. Didn't I say some of you guys, there could be an ex that could be trying to come after you. They still holding on to you. There's an ex that's still holding on to you, Leo. Some of y'all are currently talking to this person. But I feel like for the most part, this is somebody that's definitely holding on to you from the past. But I feel like you could be in love with somebody else or you could be dating somebody else. Some of you guys, this person could be talking about some like being happy with you and getting back together with you because we got love call and then we got abundance. I'm telling y'all, there is somebody that's getting ready to like chase you down. It's like they could be putting some pressure on you to to take them back with y'all. I strongly feel that way. Somebody could, maybe they could be complimenting you a lot or like I say, expressing their love to you. But I, I feel like you guys could be, if this is a new love, 
I don't know why, but I feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody new and then there's an ex popping up. You're talking to somebody new. Or you're in a relationship with somebody new. But I feel like you are happy where you're at. But I am seeing somebody could be holding on to you because they don't want you to let them go. But I feel like, yeah, you're happy where you're at. And I just picked up on this energy the other day. I feel like I did. <laughs> But expect this person to come back and chase you down because they ain't going to give up on you. Whether you're talking to somebody new, Leo, or whether you're not talking to somebody new. There is an ex popping back up in your life because they want you. They want you back because they see you happy, actually. I feel like you are in, like, this happy spirit. Look, false person. I knew it. This is somebody that may have deceived you in the past. I knew it. So some of y'all are telling me that this person could be wearing a mask. Yes, they may be chasing you down and wanting you back in their life, Leo. But I feel like this person is holding a mask. This person is, is like, maybe they're hiding something. Or like I said, they could just be playing, you know, trying to see if they can get in your life. Okay, what up, spirit? Okay, we got a child. Some of you guys have a child with this person. Just some of you guys. Just take what resonate. But, um... This person wants a new beginning. This person could be very childish. Maybe they come off as very childish, Leo. Maybe they're very immature. Um, we got occupation right here. Some of y'all's person probably got a child on the way. Let me clarify. Yeah, this is the ex that stuck on you. This is an ex that's definitely stuck on you. Some of y'all divorced this person. Maybe this is an ex-husband or ex-wife. Or maybe they are married to somebody currently right now. I normally don't read these reverse, but I am now. But it is telling me that this is somebody that didn't treat you right in the past, Leo. Maybe they were very abusive to you. Maybe they were verbally abusive. Maybe they were um, psychologically abusive towards you. I don't know why, but I'm hearing this is an abusive ex that's popping back in your life, Leo, that could be holding on to you. Because they're afraid of you having this new beginning with somebody else. But I feel like y'all already in a connection with somebody. And they don't want to let you go. Yeah, I feel like they just don't want to let you go. They want to work on this connection. It's like work. Yes, your person could be holding on because they want to work on this connection. Some of you guys may work from home. Somebody could be 34, somebody could have an 18-year-old, somebody could have an 8-year-old, somebody could be 43. Okay, let's keep it moving, because I strongly feel like you are already dating somebody else, and you're happy. But I feel like there's an ex still holding on in fear, because you are moving on, and you are moving on, and you stepped your game up also. I feel like this person knows that you have stepped your game up. In regards of, like, your money, your status, your career. I'm just getting this glow about you, Leo, with this abundance right here. Did they question you about your glow up, your level up, Leo, about your money? Maybe they could be questioning you about, like I said, everything. Your work, your money, your relationship status. I'm just getting this glow about y'all. Like, somebody see that you have glowed up, Leo. You have leveled up, Leo. Some of y'all have an online business. Like I said, some of you guys probably work from home. Some of you guys could be like nurses. Maybe you work in the medical field. Maybe you work in a hospital. Maybe you could work for children. Maybe you um, take care of like disabled children or disabled um, yeah, people with disabilities, whether they're adults or children. If not, um, maybe do home health aid. I'm just getting that type of energy, like this nursing energy. Like you take care of somebody. I'm hearing pediatrician. Somebody could be a pediatrician or a pharmacist. I'm getting that also for somebody. Okay, what else? But I feel like you're doing really good for yourself, Leo. We got the page of swords right here. Yeah, this person is watching you. This person is actually secretly planning something. Yeah, they must have just walked away from a relationship. Like I said, I don't know if you were married to them or they were married to somebody else. But 
or they still could be married. But this person has walked away from a baby mom or a baby dad, and it's like they're coming back towards you. That's for some of y'all. But I feel like you have already fell in love with this person or you never was in love with this person. Maybe you just ended up pregnant by this person and having a child with this person. But I feel like, like I said for, um, before, maybe this person was like abusive to you in the past anyways. They wasn't treating you right. They wasn't being fair to you. But like I said, I feel like you're not... They watching you get away. It's like they studying you. They're watching you, whether this is a text message that they may have um, y'all been going back and forth with or whether they have been watching you out here physically. Maybe they have been stalking you. But they see that you are not fooled by them. You see what I'm saying? So whatever they got to say to you, they know you're not up for the games, Leo. We got the Ace of Swords right here reversed. Y'all could be leaving this person. If this person calling you, like, not calling you, with this person texting you, because I'm getting this energy, they could be, like, texting you or sending you a DM or something like that. I feel like you could be ignoring whatever it is that they got to say. You could be walking away from them. Because, like I said, you you were not, you will not make, a, I'm hearing a fool out of me. Like, this person may have made a fool out of you before. But I feel like you are you have already walked away. And you really don't want to hear what they got to say because I feel like you have already left this person's life. But now that you are doing better without them, you know, it's like they want you back. But I feel like for the most part, they only want you back for real because they just got rid of somebody. You know what I'm saying? They see you have leveled up and it's like, okay, that's the opportunity right there to get back with Leo. Or if you cross watching, you, be, you could be a cross watcher. Or you could have Leo in your chart somewhere. But let's clarify and see what's going on. Because I strongly feel like y'all got an ex that's on your back. Like they on your tail. And they questioning. They question, I'm hearing they questioning your authority. They questioning your stability. They questioning who you talking to. But I feel like you. I keep hearing authority. I feel like y'all are main, remaining very disciplined. They see you are somebody who's very disciplined. Whether you're dis, disciplined in your career, whether you're disciplined at your business, whether you're disciplined just by staying away from them, not giving in under pressure. You see what I'm saying? But I hear no pressure. There ain't no pressure. But like I said, some of y'all already talking to somebody else that you love, or somebody else in general. Maybe you don't love the new person, but you could. But I am getting that energy. You are happy without this person, and they still holding on to you. Some of you guys person could be trying to like use the child as a way to get back on your good side, even though they do want you. It could be both. Maybe they is asking about the child, but in reality, it ain't even about the child. It really ain't. It's like they could be trying to use the child as a as a way to get close to you. But this is I'm telling you, this person this person left a baby mom or a baby dad. Maybe you are their baby mom or baby dad also. You know, but don't have to be. But it's telling me that they do want to nurture this connection. But I feel like you don't, you don't want them. Some of y'all dealing with a, some of this, some of y'all could be an Aquarius, or you could be cross watching once again. Maybe you are an Aquarius, and your person could have like, they could be a Leo, or you have Leo and Aquarius in your chart. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of air energy. Some of y'all could be an Aries. If it's not an air sign, it's an Aries. I'm also seeing Libra. I'm also seeing Taurus or Taurus seen a lot of air energy but I feel like it's the air is like mental so I feel like your person is not really like it have good intentions towards you they're just making a logical choice based on what they see and you know what it is that they have left but I, I just keep getting this this like flash of a um the emperor so I feel like y'all are remaining very disciplined by not giving into them not replying to any of the text messages or any of that I just keep seeing the emperor. Like I said, some of y'all dealing with an Aries. But this is somebody that is very controlling, Leo. They may have, very, like, really abused you in a way. Maybe they put their hands on you in the past. Like I said, they could have been very manipulative. They could have been a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. I'm telling y'all. Y'all were doing, this person that's holding on to you, this person was all of that. I'm hearing. They was all of that. And you don't, you don't, nur you don't want to nurture this connection anymore. And they see that. They see. That you don't want nothing to do with them, especially if they texting you, because like, this person looks like so they're reading somebody's text messages and, and not replying. You see what I'm saying? But that's what it's telling me. I just feel like you're not nurturing this, and they see that you're not giving in because you know this person and they don't love you. You know this person don't love you, and you know this person is not loyal. Even if you was to take this person back, Leo, you know this.
Yep, you know. They want a second chance. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say this person wants a second chance, Leo? Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Like I said, more Libra and um Taurus energy. I don't know why. Some of y'all can have double Libra or double Taurus in your astrology chart. One or the other. Or double air. But I am getting this energy where this person is trying to get your attention. But you're not giving in. You're not. You're probably looking at the text messages. You know. But you're, you're not feeding them your energy. You're not giving them any satisfaction. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they're highly aware of that. You're, you don't want nothing to do with them. Some of y'all, this is the ex you ran into. And maybe y'all exchanged numbers. Because you thought they wanted to have access to your kid. That's for somebody. You you must have ran into them. And then they started texting you and talking about some whole other stuff. And they had nothing to, to do with the kid. This is if you got kids with them. Like I said, if it ain't about a kid, it's about what you're doing and you, who you're doing it with. They just being nosy. Because we do got nosy right here. But I feel like a lot of y'all are definitely walking away from this person with a lot of confidence. But we about to see because I don't think this person going to give up. We're going to see. We definitely going to see. Because I'm nosy. <laughs> we going to see, child. Yep, you don't want nothing to do with this person. This person is sad. They miss you, though. They desire you so much. Yep, this was a karmic. I knew it. This is the ex. This is a karmic. They're very triggered because you're you're holding back your energy. You're not giving them any satisfaction. You're not telling them what they want to hear or any of that. You know? You are separate. You're you're removing yourself from this person. And it's causing them to be a little bit triggered. It's causing them to be a little bit upset. Like I said, they do miss you or whatever, but I just feel like this is somebody I don't even know what they want anyway. Because we got unsure of the future. This is somebody I don't know what they want. They just want, they see your glow up. They see you have made changes. And maybe they even told you this, Leo. Maybe they say, I see your go I see you glow up. You grew up. I see you made some changes. They, maybe they even complimented you about the changes that you have made, you know, gave you your, you know, your props or whatever. But I just feel like, look, you got somebody new. They triggered because you have somebody new. You're dating somebody new, Leo. I'm telling you. That's the only reason why they want to hold on to you because you have moved on. Some of y'all could be in the same sex relationship or situationship with somebody new, but they know about, they know you got somebody else's attention. And it's like they're trying to get your attention, but you already got somebody else that you're dealing with. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Your person is like literally triggered by the simple fact that you are not giving them no satisfaction, child. They want a reaction on you. They think that they you're going to like continue to like talk to them, text them, or whatever they're doing to get a hold of you. I feel like they're texting or DMing you. Maybe they call you from, maybe they text you from like a WhatsApp number or something, or text now I'm here. I don't know. If not, it could be your number, like I said, because some of y'all at the beginning, I did say you probably ran into them, and y'all probably exchanged numbers because they wanted to see your kid, or maybe y'all just wanted to be friends. I don't know, child. But maybe they always had your number. Ooh, somebody is heartbroken. This person is heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken about you, you know, not giving them any satisfaction. Wow. But I feel like they did you wrong. You know what's crazy? It's telling me the person that they left to try to come back to get to you, they left that person in heartbreak. Like I said, this could be somebody that they are married to or they was married to or you used to be married to this person. But somebody hurt, hurt and acting like you did them wrong. This person over here hurt, act like you did them wrong. But I feel like it could be the third party's um energy. The person that they left to come back towards you. It could be the third party is hurt because they was done wrong by your person. But somebody don't have control over something. I feel okay, so this is your person's energy. Your person is hurt. It's like they miss you, but they hurt because they can't make it right with you, you know. They can't get on your level. Like they cannot, you know, get back on your good side. You see what I'm saying? And um, it's out of their control. They know this is out of their control. They triggered by that because of strength. They are triggered by your strength because you are not giving in under pressure. And like I said, I don't think there is any pressure anyways because I feel like your mind is made up. I really feel that way. You are remaining strong in your power, in your position. You know, meanwhile, they over here holding on because I strongly feel like you just don't, 
You don't care about this person. You're not losing no sleep over this person. You don't love this person, Leo. You don't trust this person. They're not your other half. Like, you don't see nothing with this person whatsoever. I don't feel like you even see yourself being with them. That's how much you don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm picking up on. I strongly feel like you just, you're not into them. Like, some of y'all not even physically attracted to this person. They, they just your ex. You know, maybe this is somebody that you have dealt with on a whim and you end up getting pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys, it wasn't nothing like that. It could have just been, you were just dealing with them on a whim and that was it. But I am getting this energy where your person is definitely hurt because, you know, they, it's like they want to make it right with you, but they can't. Some of y'all, your person could be under bad karma. And at the same time, they cannot take action towards you. Some of y'all, that ex that they went back to or whoever it is that they were dealing with before they try to get back together with you, there is karma underneath that, that situation. That's exactly what I heard. There is definitely karma. But I don't think it's the card that I need to be pulling. More Libra energy. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Yeah, this person is like, they trigger, they hurt about, you know, you not wanting to make it out with them. You know, make out, I said make out. Maybe they want to have sex with you because I'm I heard make out. But they mad. Maybe that is their intentions. It's just sleep with you. You know, but... I feel like this is somebody that done you wrong in the past. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is somebody that was, you know, abusive towards you. Any way, shape, or form. They really was. And you just, look, they miss you. This person is longing for you. And I feel like, wow. This person definitely do miss you. They going to find another way to get back on your good side. I'm telling y'all, we got creative. Your person miss you, and they going to figure it out. I'm telling y'all, they're going to have another strategy on to get back in. Because obviously, texting ain't working. Or however it is. Stalking, texting. It could be one or the other or both. But I'm telling y'all, they got another trick up their sleeve. Wow. Some of y'all, this person's intentions is to come back and get you pregnant. That could be their intentions. Because I just kept hearing intentions, intentions in my head. So I feel like that's their intention is to... You know, find a way to come in, which is finesse you, finesse their way in, so they can get you pregnant. This is your. Uh, then I said at the beginning, somebody is very controlling. They feel like you getting, you know, them giving you a kid or another kid if you already have a kid with this person. They feel like that's going to keep you. They feel like that is going to keep you around, Leo. That's crazy. This person is crazy. I feel like y'all. This is a crazy ex child that. Maybe you have always find it difficult to get rid of this person. And maybe they left. And when they left, they was with that other chick or that other man for a while, which is the person that they're probably married to. Don't have to be married. Just scratch that out. But after things didn't go right with that person, I feel like that's what's bringing them back towards you. Because I'm hearing lonely. Your person could be feeling very lonely right now. All this air. Y'all got to be dealing with an air sign. Or this person is just like, they all in the head. If it ain't air, like I said, it can be a Virgo. It can be an Aries or a Taurus. Ooh. This person is mad. They missing you. But I feel like, like I said, their intentions, their intentions is not good. This person is causing you pain. Like, that's why we have false person right here. They miss hurting you. Their intentions has come in and to hurt you even more, Leo. So it's good that y'all are holding up, holding it down and in your power because they don't have good intentions towards you. It may look like on the outside that they're your friend and they giddy giddy with you and this and that and they cool with you. No, in the inside, your person is hurt. They are hurt. Their intentions towards you is ill. They It's ill. I'm hearing ill like your person, maybe they have a mental illness. Maybe this person needs to see a therapist, a counselor or something. But this is somebody who has a mental illness. Because, yes, they long for you, but they also miss how they treated you. They, they miss how hurt that you was when you were in their life a while ago, a long time ago, I'm hearing. And like I said, they're going to find a way to come in. They're going to find a way. They're coming in to, to conquer what's theirs, which is to get you and get you pregnant so they can keep you around. This person is crazy. 
some of y'all dealing with that person, that type of person. But some of you guys' person could be struggling right now. Maybe they could be trying to figure out a way of um to stay with you, to live with you. Maybe they could be homeless. Maybe they ain't got nowhere to go. But they also is mad because they're struggling. Whether this is financially, you know, home wise. Maybe they need, a, like I said, maybe they need a place to go. Like I said, I'm hearing in ill will. Like person low key have ill will towards you. But they struggle to do right by you. On the outside, they missing. It seems like they want you right, and they missing you. And the inside, this person holds in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. But like I said, they struggle to, to do right by you. Their intentions is to hurt you, to harm you, to cause you, to, to, to make you feel how they feel. That's crazy. Y'all dealing with a Yeah, they lost you. It's over. But they don't want to lose you. They don't. This person don't want to lose you at all. Y'all got a crazy person. Like I said, they may look good on the, out, on the outside and be friendly with you and act like they cool with you. Listen, there's a lot of animosity underneath that mask. <laughs> there's a lot of animosity under that mask. I'm telling you, child. They want to inflict some pain on, on you. But why? Like, they was just with a whole other person. Oh, now you glowed up. Now you done made changes and you talking to somebody new. They want to join the bandwagon? No. But at the end of the day, they wasn't treating you right anyway. So you had every right to walk away from the jump. Yeah, then I say some of y'all's person probably homeless. Some of y'all's person ain't got nowhere to go. Like I said, their intentions is come in, get you pregnant so they can, you know, be controlling. Because in their eyes, you ain't going nowhere. I'm telling y'all, this person could be homeless. They ain't got nowhere to go. But it's telling me that they ain't got nothing to hold on to. Because they don't got, have no security. They don't have no stability. This person is unstable. And I'm hearing this person is insecure anyways. But... They definitely did just walk away from somebody where maybe the person that they were dealing with was very insecure. Or like I said, they just walked away from an unstable situation, you know, and, and it's like walking away from that. It's like if it's forcing them to make some um changes, more endings. Wow. Yeah, this person holds somebody holding back communication. This ending got this person mad and going crazy. And it's the ending that they had before they came toward back towards you to try to get you back in. You know? Look, Ten of Pentacles, it didn't last that long. The person that they was with, Leo, it did not last that long at all. Some of y'all, like, like I said, this person could be having financial problems right now. You know, but they have walked away from an unhappy, unstable relationship. Wow, Leo, we got the Ten of Cups. I don't know. I just feel like this could be you. So some of you guys, they may end up going back to <laughs> since they left that person. It come okay since they left that person, right? Because they had a struggle in their relationship or whatever was going down, whether it was financially, love, I don't know what it was. They come back to you, didn't get the results that they were looking for, right? Because you didn't let them finesse you. Bang! They probably end up going back to that person, but they become very psychologically verbally abusive to that person i'm telling you they're gonna end up going back to that person out of loneliness you see what i'm saying they're gonna end up going back to that person out of loneliness as long as you keep kicking this person to the curb leo they're gonna end up straying away they're gonna end up going away on their own but i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here and y'all thank you